What's up, guys? It's Aaron here. I'm going to go up to Edinburgh Fringe in August, my first show, and I can't wait. But before I do that, I need to preview the show up and down the country. So I've added a bunch of work in progress dates. Manchester's already on sale. Some of the others might be as well by the time this goes out. All the links are going to be in the description. Liam's going to join me for some of them. It's dead small rooms, dead cheap tickets. It's going to be loads of fun. Come down. Let's have a laugh. I'll see you there. Why the fuck is there a fucking nipple on that? Why are you making me look guilty, lad? You making me feel guilty? No, 16 of age. Not that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why did I defend that point? Just awful. Like, nothing seemed to go right from that point on. Like a solid gift. Let's have a look. I don't even know how to react. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lad, are you fucking messing? <laughs> You're kissed. You're kissed. Hey, permission to speak freely? Well, granted. <laughs> you Appreciate got a it. Microphone um, You're a gobshite. I didn't know. I didn't know you were a gobshite. But I got pure beef, pure beef with you, mate. Right. I'm just not surprised at all. You're telling me this, and I'm not surprised. You say I'm a gobshite, and I'm that conditioned. I'm like, yeah, I am, but Probably I don't yeah. quite know why. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, but so, why? What so if a marriage just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't realise you, you were a gobshite until very recently. Very recently. Obviously, just got back from Barcelona, quite literally, about four hours ago. Yeah, to nice be fair. tan, by the way. You yeah. fucking white fuck. I was there for four days. <laughs> so, it was still sunny. It was still sunny. I know it's March, but come on, man. Fucking do something with your skin. I'm Shit. wearing tinted moisturiser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you feel, you on it? the piss booing, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> A BB cream. Um, <laughs> um, so, just got back from Barcelona. We'll get into that later. Don't want to talk about it right fucking now. We're walking along in Barcelona. Cute, nice little shops and stuff. Mm-hmm. Gift shops. Yeah. You might call them. Beth says, oh, what are you going to get Liam? I was like, oh, I don't know. I've not thought about it. Before. I'll find him something. I'll get him something. Um, and she goes, well, what did he get you from Milan? And I went. <laughs> what did he get me? <laughs> what did? What? She went, did he get you anything? I went. D- you didn't get me anything from Milan. Yeah, I did. It begins with F and ends in Ugh all, lad. I'm sick of this fucking gift giving shit. This podcast is costing me too much money. I made a conscious decision when I was in Milan. How very kind of you to <laughs> to get sick of the gift giving after it's. I mean, my birthday's coming up. Turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's your turn. No, what it was, <laughs> I did, I did have it in mind. Me, I promise, I had it in mind. Right, I just got defensive then. It's, it's, but hey, don't fucking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want them to hear that I'm <laughs> irritated. <laughs> so we were only in Milan for three days. It was very kind of on the go, wow, like the that's first day. As long as I was in Prague for, but carry on. <laughs> well, the first day it was like uh, we we only got there in the afternoon. It was just kind of see a couple sites, walk around a bit. The second day we were in Lake Como, which is in the middle of Bumblefuck nowhere, and there's like a couple of gift shops. But I've been there. It's nice. It's it was dead nice, yeah. Mm. But there's only a couple of gift shops. Only um, a couple, so there was choice. Okay. I did look. All right, okay. And then the third day, I was in a spa all day and then rushing to the airport. Oh, that does sound difficult, to be fair. So the only time it crossed my mind on day one was we walked past a duck shop. Oh, really? <laughs> Milan had That's a duck shop, yeah. All right. And I walked in. That is the way. I, I thought, I've got to get Aaron something. Mm-hmm. And I walked in and I looked at the ducks and I thought, I can't get him this because it's just a copycat. It's a copycat present. I can't so get So what him. you decided to do was get me fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> At least that's original. Lad. <laughs> I just didn't want to be a copycat. Oh, well, what it is, babe, I know you I know you took me on holiday for, for my birthday, and I was going to take you on holiday for yours, but I just didn't want to be too unoriginal. Um, what are you on about? You, well, your duck had a meaning. Do you know what I mean? This is going to be me by the end of the year. I'm going to get swole. I couldn't get anything. Like, the only duck I thought about getting you looked like my duck's girlfriend. I'll slide the picture in. I'll show you the picture. Oh, so you took a picture? I took a, took picture. a picture of the duck you didn't took, buy me. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. I took a picture. But because it, it was weird, I took a picture because it's odd in duck form. Yeah, why the sure. fuck? You it's tell me why the fuck there is. Dramatic pause. Fucking hell. A fuck duck. A fuck duck. A what? Look, it's got a fucking gag in its gob. I know this girl. <laughs> <laughs> what what worries me the most? I've is dated the this girl. <laughs> the duck next to it has Channel a gun. Friend. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So she's being forced against her will. So I almost bought you Legend. that. Legend. <laughs> Got that. 
<laughs> I almost got you that. And then I thought, I can't be a copycat. I'll keep an eye out. And then there was fuck all, mate. Fridge magnets. Just shite. So I just... And I thought, I'm going away quite a lot this year. I've been quite fortunate. I've got a few breaks. There's no way I'm going to buy you fucking, like, four or five gifts, lads. You can fuck off. You've had your birthday present. We're going to Cork. You can fuck off. I'm done going with it. Going to Cork, yeah, yeah. I'm thrilled. Um, <laughs> uh, to be fair, I did get you something from Barcelona. Oh, um, no, don't, don't. I got don't you that. <laughs> and also... Um, <laughs> I did get a bit excited then the second dip down. Uh, no, you can go fuck yourself. I'm absolutely furious. No, like However, you've upset me. End of an era. No more gift giving on this podcast. I mean, after my birthday, though. I do yeah, expect so. You <laughs> <laughs> say, oh, no. I feel so bad. It says we are here. It's so enthusiastic. Oh, that, I think that Beth got that for her birthday last year. It was just under the bed. Is there a note? No? Okay. No, it's you don't the, put the notes on because then you can read That soon. counts. Oh, it's gift bagged and there. Uh, There's also some rope, rose petals in there. I know. Four yeah. rose petals. Cotton swatches. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm kicking off on you for making an effort, thanks. <laughs> I did it, Beth put them in. <laughs> <laughs> they were left over from Valentine's Day. What are we uh, What are we dealing with? Fucking solid gift. Let's have a look. <laughs> I don't even know how to react. It, it's com I'm complete. Oh, my fucking God. At least, I th oh my god! I don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Speechless. Well, I got you the camo ones because, as discussed, you've got really fucking ugly feet, and I don't want to see them. So yeah, I don't want anyone to see them. So thank <laughs> fuck they're gonna blend into the surroundings. Can I tell you a secret? Go on. Can I tell you a secret? I'm actually proper buzzing. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Before we go any further, what size shoe are you? I'm a size nine. You. F <laughs> no, honestly. They're an eleven. No, they're, they're not eleven. They're a ten. Okay. Right. That's just because Spanish and shit. I'm so fucking annoyed. Your missus a sket mate. Yeah. Your wife. Sketty bums get wild. Gob shape. A go gob. A gob shape. A gob shape. She is a gob shape. She's one of those. Um, I knew it was a nine. Yeah. I thought it was a nine. Yeah. I thought I'll message back, I'll double check. I messaged her about three years ago. Three years ago. Left me on red. Cheeky fucking. Left cheek. me on red. Didn't even respond. Cheeky like, fuck. Who are you? It's probably because she doesn't want me to get them. Well, she didn't know they were the cracks. <laughs> um, so I started to get in my feelings then. And then today in the in the airport, Beth said, to, like, oh, I'll just message her. I've got a number. She messaged, goes, Oh, I think he's a ten. What sort of yeah. What sort of partner? How are you? How do you marry someone and not know their shoe size? Co Quick so as a flash, what size shoe is Beck? I don't actually know. What is wrong with you? Yeah, I don't know. We've never really. Do I message so Tom Hunt? Yeah. <laughs> I messaged Tom what Hunt. What fuck would he know? Hey, he did. <laughs> of course he did. But well, it was about twenty minutes after cuts. I fucking bought them, oh, did so he, it was yeah. too late. Can I? Well, I will just defend that and say no. I am not always a nine. I am either a nine or a ten. So, You're uh, fair play 10, to baby. her. <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> no, but honestly, like, I am either a nine or a ten. And to be fair, they are a bit snug. So that's, that, that'll, that'll be perfect. I bit. wear my, uh, my, my like, comfy shoes at the Come moment on. to slides, and they're a Come ten. Come on, you uh, give me all the abuse. I want uh, you to, I want you to realise how... So, I, I've got confession to make as well. That when you got them, that episode, I gave you so much shit. I t I'm telling you now, it took me less than 24 hours before I was looking them up in the croc sale and I was dead curious about them and I was talking to Rebecca about them a lot saying... I, I purposely got you the ugliest ones I could find. I think I might get... To so what mode? Sport mode or... Uh, both. Relax. No, feel. I mean, what... what okay. <laughs> just, just see how you feel. Dip your toe. Oh, mate, they're the perfect fit. <laughs> Genuinely, up? like, I think any smaller would not have been comfortable. They're the perfect fit. Why are they ribbed for hair pleasure? What the fuck is that all about? That's a weird Off sensation the on fuck, the toe. Baby. Yeah, <laughs> to, ribs. To quote you. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're solid. <laughs> right. Do you know what, mate? Oh, no, I've got my jogs on. Show Put them away. Got to know really good. Put your oh. leg up again. No. Put your leg up again. No. Oh, no. <laughs> well, check it out. We're bracelet buddies. <laughs> can, I, can I tell you what else I was doing research on? Go on. The little gems and that. I the think I'll gem. buy some. You're going to buy some gems? Yeah, I was, I was, I've been made, I even signed up to the mailing list because you get discounts and I keep getting croc 
fax emails, and I well, thought I'll never give him the satisfaction. Well, the I got him hey, in the. Uh, you know, I'd already looked at him ages ago. As soon as he started giving me shit, I looked at I looked at them on Amazon, um, <laughs> and I was going to get you some like fucking highlighter yellow ones because I thought that would be hilarious, um, and I didn't want to get like the ones that are actually nice because they're fucking well expensive for some reason. Yeah, like Beth got me some solid ones, like like fifty quid. They were like oh, twenty five. Really? So I was getting you the cheap ones, but that's hard action, man. My heels just about in. I've got I've got weird feet, by the way. If you're looking at the shape of my feet and you're like, that looks fucked up. Yeah. I've well, got that's got why I got you the camo ones. So. <laughs> that's what I mean. Keep them well. Yeah, yeah. Get them, get them, get them gone away. The perfect fit, though. You Put know. Put in sport mode. See what they're like. All right. Okay. So sport modes for what driving, so it's not slipping about, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Slipping, slipping Slip. about. Slip and slide. Slip and slide. <laughs> <That's right. yeah. laughs> ah. Mate, I don't know. I think I might. <sighs> so I'm sick of this fucking podcast making me do U-turns all the time. No one's going to believe a word I fucking say because I'm so strongly in favour of one side. And then the next minute, Crocs. <laughs> you quite literally like... <laughs> Crocs. <laughs> oh, lad, they're all right, you know. I mean, well, I'll give them time. I need a walk around. Do you know, like, did you, when your mum used to get your school shoes and you'd have to do a little walk around in them? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm going to make you run. In a minute, <laughs> up and down the hallway. <laughs> no sports gonna be done in these crocs. Um, I'm driving home in them. I'm yeah, telling you, they're sure. staying on now. Yeah. Like, see, uh, I did get a lot of grief uh, in Barcelona though for them. Um, did you? I just went. It was weird. Like I've you got all on my legs. Them walking around. Well, we did a beach day. We'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, that's um, okay. Yeah, that's acceptable. No, but that's not. I'm used to getting loads of looks sort of down at my nether regions. Of course, I've got you tattoos are. on me on me calves and that yeah, on my shins. The reason. But I started to notice that people were looking a bit below the shins. And I was getting like pure evils, you know. And I just don't, I, obviously Crocs are back in. If you're listening and you think they're not, then go fuck yourself, they're in. Well, have, they, have they ever been in? You're saying they're back in. Have they ever been in? You tell me, baby. I'm, I'm honestly, <laughs> as you're saying that, I'm wiggling yeah, me Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wiggling me toes. <laughs> <laughs> I think I like them. I think I like them. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, as well, like you slag back off. Yeah, I still think you're a gobshite, love, but perfect size, perfect size. Yeah, man. ideal. Um, what Go was on. I talking about? You, you were getting eyeballed. Yeah, I was just getting lots of down off. Obviously, the, the back in, but I don't think the back in in Hispana. I don't think they're there. Hispania. No, Hispania. I don't. Have they have they ever been in though? When have they ever been cool? Right now. They were only cool during COVID because everyone was all like clapped for the NHS and that. Everyone was staying at home. Well, nurses wear them, don't they? They were like the heroes. So what brought them back? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And everyone's like, you know, people went from like working at home. Some people stayed working at home. That's why Crocs are in because it's like a comfort thing. I've, I've, well, I've done it again. I was moaning. I was saying they've never been in. And then I've just perfectly justified <laughs> why they're the in. Now I've got them. them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's right but me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all right, you know, man. Like, uh, well, I'm glad you like them. Um, can I talk about Barcelona now? Yeah, you can talk about Barcelona. Ask me about it. Ask me how it was. How was Barcelona, Aaron? It was really good. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, you're a cunt. Sorry, I'm going to interrupt you. You're a cunt. Because I've set the bar. No, you're... Yeah, well, yeah. How are we going to top this? <laughs> you're a cunt. Because I just expected better from you. I never thought you'd be one of those people who takes pleasure in rubbing in the shit weather back home. Yeah. Yeah, it was proper how's your Monday. Yeah, smug, on <laughs> smug cunt. Yeah, yeah. You couldn't just enjoy what you were experiencing. You had to be like, oh, yeah, is it shit at home? Shame. Why does that make it better? I'm just proud of you that you managed to work Instagram to view the story in the first place. <laughs> I, well I didn't done. like it on purpose. Teach him a fucking lesson. <laughs> Still slid the bar, though, because you got to get that algorithm up. <laughs> <laughs> I see you. Um, <laughs> so Barcelona was great, really fun. Obviously, we bought tickets to see Luis Capaldi and stuff. Yeah. So f- just, just c- quality. Like I'm not a huge fan of him. I like him and stuff, but just going with your misses and stuff, just amazing. And like just the like being able to go to another country and watch it, it's just cooler in it. Yeah. Have you it's ever like been to a kick abroad before? No, it's just no. a bit more. Well, kind of like in Vegas and stuff, but they're just like DJ sets and stuff like in the yeah. day and then, like in clubs <laughs> and shit like that. Like it's not. I mean, it was it was sick, but it's not like you you're paid just to eating see your lunch. They're just like <laughs> yeah. David Gaffney's just fucking. Like, <laughs> 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 I'm 
<laughs> this one's for charge flight. <laughs> Buffalo wing, $6. I've just registered what you just said. Do you remember when he did that? It was horrific. Did he actually? Yeah. Oh my God. It man. was awful. It was the worst Fuck thing. He was like, this one's for George Floyd or this one's for Black Lives Matter or something. And then it was like, <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking awful. God, lad, fucking hell. Have a um, bit of fucking taste. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, just like going to see like music abroad, like like when you booked it, it just, it's just cool. Like it's sort of being there. Uh, like a different venue and stuff, and like with just different, like different crowds and stuff. Because obviously you've got all the fucking scowls in the UK, aren't you? But yeah, like dancing like that. Yeah, um, yeah. It just, just so cool, man. Um, or at least it would have been if he didn't cancel the gig eleven minutes before it was supposed to start. No, <laughs> lad, are you fucking messing? Eleven minutes. <laughs> You're kissed. You're kissed. Mate, honestly, funny you mention it. Actually. Me. Because so much went wrong approximately 20 minutes after I was a smug prick on Instagram. Like, Lad, <laughs> I just had to, when I said your case, I just had to look and make sure this was recorded. Yeah. <laughs> because I just, anything could go wrong. Yeah. And just from that point on, nothing went right, man. Oh, at Lad. all. Nothing, because I don't want to be like so always me. I'm in Barcelona. It's you know, it's an absolute fucking privilege. It's a beautiful city. But can we just stop kidding ourselves about city breaks? I love them. Mate. The dog shit, man. What are you want about? I've only been on a couple though, They're so, so it's new for me. Why Barcelona is kind of the exception to the rule this weekend aside. I know it has potential. It's sort of like when I'm a bit sleeping, I only put down half mast for Beth. <laughs> like I, there is potential there, <laughs> but just not now. It could have been good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not. If you were fitter, no. Um, <laughs> It's terrible. She's I feel beautiful. simultaneously gutted for Beth that she had a shit break, but like also happy that you're miserable. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, what happened? There? So he <laughs> he got bronchitis. <laughs> You've seen that video. No. Uh, so he, he got bronchitis. It was just a fucking video that went viral years ago. Um, <laughs> you weren't obviously on Instagram. You couldn't work it by that. Um, What's TikTok? Huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so he now he cancelled Zurich and Milan like a week before we were due to fly. And we saw that online and we were like, fucking hell. He said, the next show that I'm going to do is Barcelona. Like, so I'm just going to tr- rest up and try and be ready for them. I'm so sorry to cancel them, blah, blah, blah. So we were like, right, fine. And I said to Beth, I was like, if he's got bronchitis, there's no way he's doing Barcelona. There's just no way. So we sort of made our peace with the fact it's probably going to get canceled. And then we just carried on as normal. We were flying a couple of days later and then it got to the day and we were still sort of, you know, when you're still like, cause you're checking the, it's like fucking Instagram all the time going, is there an update? So was, is he posting like well. reels or anything? Like, yeah. is he doing anything? Um, and there was nothing. And I said to Beth, like, funnily enough, when we were sat in that fucking bar where I was posting all the pictures and stuff, I was like, surely now it has to happen because you can't, it's fucking meant can't to start in five it. hours. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, and we planned the day around that. We thought we'll get an early tea. We need to get there for about eight, so we'll eat early, whatever. And we'll sat in the uh, in the venue in, in the in the Hard Rock Cafe having some food. And now I don't speak Spanish, uh, but Cancelacion <laughs> is um, <laughs> is a cause for concern. <laughs> when you get an email, Ticketmaster.es <laughs> with urgent Cancelacion, <laughs> urgento <laughs> Cancelacion. <laughs> And nine I was one like, one, yeah, nine yeah. one one, <laughs> so I was just like, you've got to be fucking joking. <laughs> now, after time to reflect and stuff, what basically happened was he cancelled the two shows early in the week and then he flew back home to Glasgow. Chilled there, was doing loads of medication and stuff. And then he's flown to Barcelona and he's done the sound check. And while he's doing the sound check, his voices give out, which is why he's cancelled it so close to the night, so close to the gig. Now, while sat in the Hard Rock Cafe, none of that was computing to me. That's completely reasonable. But also, do you not feel like he's kind of a fucking idiot? A little bit. Because I did Evan Demaray's gig the other day to 14 (laughs) people. And I was really poorly prior to it. It was when we did Finn's episode. I was really poorly prior to it. Then the following day, had the gig a couple of days after. Felt so shit. And I'm going around the house just sort of doing my set in my head. And obviously, I'm very aware that it's on a much smaller scale, which is why... He should be doing more, I think. Yeah. Do you know what why, I mean? Why wait to the, that point? But all these fucking fans were driving me insane in the replies. There was a couple of people going like, lad, you've left this fucking far too late. People have spent money. People have fucking fought out on accommodation, mm. all assuming that it was still going to happen. Even 24 hours before is better than now. Like, people are outside the venue. We were getting there late because who gives a fuck about the supports that don't speak my language? Like, I don't know what to, do you know what I mean? They were local acts. So I I'm actually cultured and I'd get involved. Would you? Yeah, cultured. Cancelation. <laughs> the, the big hits. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, upset me. Um, but go on. But people fans. are outside the venue and stuff, and all his fans are just being dicks. Oh, no one asks you to travel. Obviously, do you not understand that his voice? Will, if if he carries on singing, then it'll ruin his whole career because his voice will be permanently damaged. And just making all of these fucking excuses. And just for me, I don't know how. If you've got this illness, you don't just go to a studio in Glasgow or like throw your voice at home before you get on the flight. It doesn't make sense to me, man. He what? was just, it feels like he just wasn't speaking at all until the very second he walked in the venue and then tried and it went, no. Surely just... he wasn't though. Surely he, surely he's trying, because you know, sometimes shit can go wrong at mm. the very last minute. So maybe he was just like, he'd been warming up, he felt good. And then, yeah, like during the sound check, it just... Your voice is gone. Yeah. I was so annoyed, man. Like, proper, like, in, in, the, in the moment, like, proper stress angry. Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, that's why I'm glad I didn't fucking, like, respond to the tweet. Because what's it going to solve? Yeah. But also, you can't just be stress posting. Do you know what I mean? I know. And, but there were people that had points. Like, you'd, bought a co- you'd done accommodation stuff, and it, it ruined our entire night. Yeah, it like, will do. Without sounding like, <laughs> Lewis Capaldi cancelled his concert, and my whole holiday was ruined. <laughs> without sounding like that. <laughs> Because we, we'd planned the day around it. Mm-hmm. But every, Bas, uh, have you been to Barcelona? You have. Yeah. yeah. Did you get me a gift? Baby, no, you didn't. It. Yeah, um, I fucking did. From Barcelona. I did get you a gift. What did you get me? I can't remember. It wasn't very good, but I got you a gift. Right. Must have been shit. I did definitely get you a gift. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, it was on episode 14. I didn't watch it. Um, <laughs> yeah. But so we're, so we're there. And it's Everything's rammed. We couldn't do anything. We couldn't get in anywhere. There's a bar called Paradiso. It's like the number one cocktail bar in the world. Went thought, we'll just have to make the most of the night, whatever. And we went there, five-hour queue. Went to another bar, two-hour queue. Because everyone's ev- done the same thing, lad. Well, yeah, but also it's just fucking Friday night in yeah. Barcelona. We couldn't do anything, yeah. man. And we'd spent 34 euro on going to this fucking nightclub at like two in the morning. It opened at half one. Oh, and we Because we thought that would be great. Go to the gig. Come out of there, have a, grab a quick bite to eat, go to that club. What a night. Amazing. Because you, you're fucking the adrenaline will be going, you'll have a fucking amazing time. It just turned out that actually from about 10 to 7, we were just waiting till 2 a.m. Oh, to go to this club. By the way, can we talk about nightclubs and how ridiculous they are? Yeah. I mean, Why I've who afford this for a very long who time? Who decided that we go out at 2 in the morning? What are we doing? Why aren't we going out at seven until two in the morning? Why it's are we when going you're out young at 2 and wild and no, free? Because I hated them then. <laughs> yeah. I hated it then. But but you, it's you, awful. Do you really? I, I like I I did, but it's only in retrospect. At the time, I'd like gaslighted myself. I thought I loved it, and it's only like looking back, I was like, you always it's just awful. fucking hated that. Like we could go out at seven, we could leave at midnight, we could get some food, we could go home, we could put our pajamas on, our Crocs, perfect, chill. You you're up for the next morning, seize the day. Oh, and if you want to carry on beyond there, then there is a couple of clubs catered towards I'm you. I'm just distracted, sorry. As soon as you said the word Crocs, my toes just didn't stop fucking <laughs> nestling like typing in, on a know? keyboard. <laughs> um, That's so good. But, but yeah, like, man, nightclubs can fuck off. But like, what are we doing? Why, we were in there. We spent 34 euro to get in and it was dead because it was when it opened. And yeah. it doesn't get busy until four in the morning. Which is why, mad as well. It, why would it get busy? Yeah fucking stupid so we, we were in there for about 40 minutes and you just sat there two-stepping pretending that you like your life i know like, i, I don't know. understand like I, I went out on saturday for some food and uh, met me mates for drinks afterwards i was out with beck and then we, we went out for some drinks afterwards we met in a bar in town which is dead popular and it's boss at certain times yeah uh, called pogues it's like an irish oh, bar yeah, there's the- like live music and stuff but mate i walk in and it's so fucking it's a it's a bar. It's not even like a nightclub, but it's just in that area. Yeah. It's so crammed and it's so loud. You can't talk. So it's not even like you stood up shuffling. You sat down like in a circle looking at your mates. Yeah. You can only talk to the one next to you. And that's hard because you're going, hey, you, just, you know, that you're screaming <laughs> down the fucking ear. It hurts you. At the point, it, it hurts. And you're like, I can't be fucking yeah, asked. You stop having through. a conversation with me, actually, because <laughs> you're upsetting me. Go I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So then I was like, can we go somewhere else after this? We went somewhere, mate. Again, live music, bar, busy. But it was just that little bit, that little bit lower. Bliss. I fucking loved it, mate. I'm a pub guy now. Yeah, yeah, at the yeah. pub, not the club. I completely agree. But sorry to sort of digress. You just reminded me of something horrific that happened in Barcelona that very same night Luis Capaldi got cancelled. I then Googled things to do in Barcelona at night. Uh, and one of the options was go and see some live music. 
and oh, when I tell you, I nearly volleyed my phone into the Blair at sea. <laughs> dropped it. <laughs> yeah. Crocked it. Right Crock falls it. off with it, yeah. <laughs> Cursed. Oh, man. Just, just awful. Like, nothing seemed to go right from that point on. Well, it ruined your day, day as well. Like next, That's Friday. You sat at the beach trying to relax, and you can't because you're pressing refresh every five yeah, seconds. Yeah. So it took the whole day Pencil away from you. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, honestly. Yeah. I, 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 Turns out that doesn't mean going ahead as planned. It's, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's fucking... So that was Friday, and we were just disappointed. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We were just a bit gutted. We'd spent the money and stuff. And like, I'm going to have to sell the tickets as well because it's going to re- get rescheduled. I'm not going fucking back. Bring can... to Stubby's toe and cancel it again. You can go <laughs> fuck yourself. So I'm not going back. And then the next day, it was advertised like 25 degrees. So amazing. Yeah. Just f- phenomenal. So we were like, we'll go do a beach day. Mate, the winds were unbelievable. Really? Yeah. It was like 30 miles per hour winds. Shit's falling everywhere. Do you know you've got the, that shitty sand plastic? Sand in your eyes. Sand's yeah, yeah, yeah. like fucking glass, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it was like cutting bags. Like, <laughs> stuff, like we, just, we were on the beach for all of 15 minutes. We got scammed by one of those guys with all the fucking blankets and bought one for 18 quid. Oh, That's you in the loft. dickhead. Awful. Mate, they bury them. Hmm? I watched, do you know they've got, dude, every, the guy always has a blanket, doesn't he? Yeah, Sells yeah. you a blanket. But he appears out of nowhere with the blanket. They they bury them. They lift the rock up, and they be- so don't buy one. Watch the guy. Watch where he buries all this fucking, and then rob the cunt because he's only going to rob you by overcharging you for Absolute it. Absolute worst pirate ever. Yeah, that's <laughs> fucking awful. <laughs> Where's my buried treasure? <laughs> it's like an Egyptian cotton. That's fucking oh, awful. Oh mate, the massages <laughs> on the beach are so funny in Barcelona, oh, aren't they? They've got like grits by some <laughs> fucking yeah. ladies. They grab your feet and yeah, they go, yeah. "You want a sash?" <laughs> like, maybe that was dodgy, but that's what they say. Like it sounds <laughs> that's dodgy. That's what that one sounded like. <laughs> But they do. They grab your feet. See? They were grabbing Rebecca's feet. And then we, we were like, no, no. They went to the couple next to us and they were like, yeah, yeah. And I watched this fella lie face down in the sand, fully clothed, getting an elbow to his butt cheeks like that. <laughs> Just looking miserable while she's on the lookout for the busies because it comes on the tannoy every five minutes, doesn't it? Like, it's they a crime. It we were, Did it yeah. not? No, when I was there, it was on the, on the tannoy saying like... Uh, it is a crime to take a drink, massage, basically anything those people are selling yeah. on the beach. Oh, no way. But yes, he was like pile driving his fucking ass with an elbow. It looked like the worst <laughs> massage ever. And he was like, best five euros I've ever spent. Uh, but yeah, you said Beth um, bought one of those blanket things. Yes, we got, but it was just like the fucking winds going everywhere. The fucking chair, the tables and chairs are flying all over the gaff. So we thought we're just going to have to go and see some sights. Mate, my hair was a state. Oh my days. I can't imagine your hair in the wind. Oh, it's just fucking. <laughs> Does the sand just stick I look to like it? Nicholas just... Cage in Con Air. It was awful. <laughs> Um, <laughs> if you've seen that, I video. have, yeah, yeah. Uh, niche reference. reference. Um, I'll slide the picture um, of Nicholas Cage, not of me. I'm not, I'm not degrading myself. Um, but yeah, so we thought we'll just go and see some sights. Like, what's well, Park Well? That's closed. Fuck off. Oh, that was my highlight of the trip. It's so good. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm rubbing it. No, no, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, so that was closed. So we were like, fucking brilliant. But nothing's close. Nothing's near. Yeah, Park Well's a miss because it's got that view of mm-hmm. everything. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. Nothing's nearby to anywhere. Just a fucking nightmare. Everywhere you want to go, he's just so fucking far from each other. And then like they close it for daft reasons. Obviously, the wind closed Park Well for some fucking unknown reason. And then we thought, well, right, we'll go. We'll go tomorrow then. It's no big deal. We'll just go somewhere else for now. We'll go to Park Well tomorrow. We get there. We didn't know you needed tickets. And it was sold out completely. Yeah. yeah just yeah. everything. Just Joe, consi- you know when you just like, for fuck's sake, there's yeah. another one. That's another one. And we wanted to go in the Squad of Familia. Did you know that's a million pounds to go in? And you walk the- in. That pissed me off. That put me off going to churches ever. Because you look at it. It's it's still being it's fucking not built. to be fair to have to give some money in a church. No, <laughs> exactly. It, it, it made me go, ooh, ooh, how many people have died building that building? And all it exists for is to go, we love our God more than you. Look how fucking boss this is. Do you know what I mean? Why mm. build something that grand that takes hundreds of years to finished. make? It's like insane. I me. think it's deliberate. To make it like, a, oh, like it's a, that a big, yeah, starter, it's yeah, not yeah. even. F- and you and don't get me wrong, it's spectacular. You've not seen anything like it, but it's also half minging. It's not pretty, is it? You're like, why the fuck is there a fucking nipple on that? Do you know, like there's just weird shapes? Of, why is there a fucking Christmas tree on a church? Oh, okay, right, Jesus, <laughs> it makes sense actually. <laughs> Saying it out loud, but it is like, why does it look like that? It's odd. And yeah. you go inside, it looks like a fucking spaceship, and you do go. I oh, didn't go inside. Cool. That was too rich for me, man. I wasn't. 
It was like 27 quid each. I ain't going in there. Yeah, and you saved your money because we went in and we weren't in there for long at all. Yeah, just suck your mum. I ain't going in there. So 27 quid each. It's just full of Instagrammers in the wild. I saw one girl posing for a photo just doing this. (laughs) And her fellow was just taking all back shots and she just like looked at them. No, she's inside it. I don't know what she was pointing at, but it was like just a... Made them mad, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, I saw. I tweeted about this. I saw a stag bend over in a thong, and his mates <laughs> took a photo of him outside the scr- like <laughs> the church. Gaudi didn't die for that. Do you know what I mean? Like, what what are we doing? Like the whole and everyone's is so busy. This is my point about city breaks. I don't fucking get it. I'm going to. I'm doing Dean Conklin's new material night, and I've got some fucking opinions. I'm doing it tomorrow. I've got opinions, mate. I'm right. gonna get some stuff off my chest because I don't get it. We're lying to ourselves. The we boss. are the boss. The not, mate. The not. Travel broadens the mind. Mate, I did 25,000 steps a day. I average between two and 500 usually. What are we doing? That's good for you. No, it's not. Milfi, uh, uh, lad, you're the p- problem. But everything's so far away and it's so fucking busy. So take in the surroundings. You can't book because some dog shite's in your way all the time. That's all that's the time. Life. There's more people than just you, Aaron. No, I know that. But this is, what, this is my point. Why am I going to where the people are? All right, so what's your ideal holiday? <laughs> Sound like they're in Madagascar, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> they have the people. <laughs> um, yeah, I just I said to Beth, I was like, I just want to go and sit in a, like a padded room with my arms folded across the like, and just have a sit. Like the best part of the holiday. <laughs> have a sit. I'll <laughs> oh, do some sits, mate. I love, I love doing Where's some sits. Where's Dean's at night? Liverpool? Yeah. So you're telling me you're going to go to Liverpool, you're going to complain about being on holiday <laughs> and I would shit well no I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to ask everyone why why are we kidding ourselves with City Break I don't get it you're going to look at some fucking like monument you didn't know existed 20 minutes yeah. ago it doesn't make sense to me <laughs> oh, we'll I don't know what there. we're doing yeah. you google it going oh what things do in Barcelona oh the fountains of words I can't spell what are you on about what are we doing I didn't know this existed so why do I care now you're not wrong alright you're not okay wrong. we go to Barcelona oh let's do the stadium tour I've done that before. It's paid 28, 28 euro to do the stadium you don't even tour. Watch I live next to two of the most famous stadiums in the world, and I've not even been in them. Why am I going into the fucking Spanish one? I can't even read half the words. <laughs> what are we doing? It doesn't make sense to me. It's pointless. It's completely pointless because you go, all right, Barcelona is the 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 the, um, the one that doesn't apply to. Do you know what I mean? It's the rule. What's the word? What's the phrase I'm looking for? The exception to the rule. The exception to the rule. Of course, it is. Barcelona's got the beach and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, but also the beach is fucking 400 miles from the thing that you were just at. And now you want to go there? Oh, it's only an hour and 48 minute walk. You want a taxi instead? Oh, <laughs> only 38 euro. Metro stations. The metro buses. station. Great idea, Liam. Yeah. Great idea. So many people. Yeah. Don't like it. Immerse yourself in the culture. All nah, right. Nah, Find I don't, yourself. Don't like it, man. Yeah, I love it. Don't like it. it. I'm going better than me. I'm going to shit myself on a sit and do it. I'm, actually, <laughs> I'm done, man. I'm absolutely done. I can't be asked. I can't be asked kidding myself. I grew up on a council estate in Edgeley. Why am I? What am I doing yeah. outside the Sagrada Familia? Yeah, fuck the church. Where's Sticky Vicky? That's where I want to go. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, lad, no. Get some. Get some fucking culture. We've got merch. Finally, we've got merch. We've been talking about doing this for ages, and we've finally made it happen. We've got our own online store at SpreadNegativityPod.com. We're selling t-shirts with logos. We're selling queefs. Whatever you want, we've got it. <laughs> We're selling queefs in a jar if you want one. <laughs> we've got beanies mugs phone cases loads of stuff like that so check it out but if you do order something and i cannot stress this enough order one size up i'm a large structural large in most things i've got a 2xl in this liam you'll notice doesn't even have a hoodie yet because they're still making his out of a bed sheet right proper nightmare stuff (laughs) (laughs) check us out spreadnegativitypod.com if there's anything that you want and you don't see let us know we'll see what we can yeah we'll sort it out and we will get better at these adverts as time goes on did you get the opportunity to try like a b day out Take a B day for a test drive while you're in Spain. No, it's like a European thing, isn't it? I didn't see it. They have like so. I didn't actually in Barcelona, but I did in. <laughs> so you've no idea if they're actually there. No, no, it is. <laughs> it is a European. I was surprised our hotel room didn't have one because when I've right. been to Spain on holidays when I was younger, 
my dad used to clog the PD with ice and use it as a fridge because the room didn't That's have a fridge. So council. Is that scouts? Yeah. <laughs> so you'd have a PD <laughs> full of ice and a bunch of Stellas just sticking out of it. <laughs> fucking put a daiquiri in there, a strawberry daiquiri, and spin in the fucking. Your son, get a straw. <laughs> <laughs> drinking piss water. <laughs> that's, the, that's the fucking grimmest thing you've ever said. Oh, that's so That's horrible. not where I was going. Whenever I was bringing up the beer day. Fucking but hell. All I was going to tell you is in Milan, we had one in the room and I was buzzing because it's I want to try one. Yeah. I, wanna, I really want to try one. I, oh, you had beef with the toilets. I feel like, okay, I feel like the first section of this podcast was very well with me and it was Aaron who went on his nice summer holiday while everyone else was in the snow. It, yeah, but it was stunning. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. Um, and he went on his nice, beautiful holiday. I know, he booked to see an artist and it got cancelled. And oh, poor Aaron. Lewis Capaldi's poorly. And oh, poor Aaron. What? It's the name of the fucking podcast. If you're fuming and moaning thought, about stuff, then. I thought something had gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the lights are on. Um, but I just feel like it was very well with me. And yeah. it's like from the outside looking in, I'm just being a miserable twat. They went on holiday and just tried to not enjoy it. But when you have all these fucking little tiny things yeah. that all go wrong, I couldn't. This obviously bring up the toilets. I really needed a shit. Course. Right. So I went to like this beautiful like little tapas but If you go back to Barcelona, it's absolutely stunning, man. It was right near the like the hotel, it wasn't too far, like 10, 15 minute walk or whatever. You might have heard of it called McDonald's. It was stunning. <laughs> <laughs> it's just mwah, amazing. I've it's got beef. Spanish Mackies and You get beers. I didn't have a beer. Okay. I didn't have a beer. But the reason we went in there is obviously to have some food, but I really needed to take a shit. Yeah. As well. And you so can I rely thought, on Mackies to be kind of clean. Yeah, I'll just go and get that. I'll just go and get that go in the toilet. Go and have my shit. Oh no, you need a little code to use the toilet. Oh, they cost the coffee, Joe. The code, the code is on the on receipt. the receipt. Yeah, they cost the coffee, Joe lad. So like, hang on, I need a shit because I've got too much food in me, and now you want me to buy food so I can have my shit. Yeah, because you're not going to Mackey's like because you think you might need a shit. You go in in Mackey's because you're desperate for a shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It felt like everything was just designed to just piss get, me yeah. off. I've yeah. told you about this theory that people don't really exist. I've never been more sure of it this fucking weekend. <laughs> so many people, and they just walk straight ahead. Like, I don't exist. I fucking, I nearly... We're all here to make you miserable. Yeah. Anyway. But B-Days, you've not... B-Days, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <Excuse me. laughs> it's okay. I feel no like that's B-day. the only place I would have been happy, just no on B-day the toilet. Mackies. Just on the toilet, sat by myself. <laughs> It's, there would have still been a fucking Spanish kid doing me headings nearby. Do you know what I mean? Like, even in if- your toilet. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel weird about them? Because a lot of people go, oh, never try that. You know, like, I I think it sounds um, appealing. Beth put her finger in my asshole while we were in Barcelona. A B-Day would have been ideal. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the truth in your eyes, lad. <laughs> But no, I get so like insecure. We're buying a douche. I get so insecure. <laughs> really? Yeah, man. I I'm, just I'm panic. A, I wipe like heavy. Yeah, yeah. That's I'm, what I'm I did, and it was clean. Yeah. It was it was clean. It was good. It was good. But she has nails, and you never know. It's never you know clean. I mean? So I use get wet wipes. French tips. Do you, you use wet <laughs> wipes? Uh, French tips. Sorry, I steamrolled I mean, I'm trying to. Uh, I'm trying to like be better for the environment, and also I'm broke, so I just buy toilet paper. But like. So I wipe with toilet paper until it's completely clean, and then I use the wet wipes. Guess what? It's not fucking Tell clean. Tell you a mistake I did make once. Go on. With a wet wipe. Um, we were, uh, we were <laughs> <laughs> so we were about to engage in the stuff. Coitus. Yeah. Yeah. In good word. Course. Um, Banging. It is good, yeah, Naughty. yeah. You should try it. Um, <laughs> I've heard it's boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five star and triple Things um, to do in Barcelona. But do you know when you just sort of get in from a night out and you're like, ah, oh, fucking, I should shower, but I can't fucking, I'll have, I'll have that. The, the, disco dick. Disco dick. I'll have the, I'll have the nice wash. Oh, little jam um, Yeah. Uh, who and, is bad? Uh, I, I, I wash my dick with one of the makeup wipes and they are not, they, they are fragrant. Yeah. And fragranced yeah 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 they're I, really fragranced i kind of did something similar in that when i was in uni and i was like living out on my own you know buying wet wipes for the first time because you know i had the luxury of uh, mum buying them and i was living at home so i moved uh, you know moved out for uni i accidentally bought bleach wipes for months it wasn't until one day my housemate was like you had the longest blonde ass ever <laughs> <laughs> Draco Malfoy around the back, lad. <laughs> Fucking Lucius, mate. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't until me, mate, was like, are you using these for your ass? I was like, yeah, why? And I was like, "Fucking, that explains why I've been stinging. Genuinely, mate, I feel like I've done lifelong damage, to be fair. It's not been the same since. Oh my anyway, God. B-Days. 
right? So yeah, I'm, a, I'm as as I'm very conscious about being clean. There, I thought B days are gonna be sick. We had one in the room in Milan, and I'm like, fucking yeah, this is gonna be boss. But the tap is like a bath tap, so I thought it would shoot up and at the asshole. But is it gonna run, run down my ass crack? But whatever, I'm, t- I'm excited. I'm, I'm not really thinking about the logistics. I just sit down, turn it on, there's hot and cold tap, hot tap, right up, scalded my ass. I did not know it would get How that hot. How did you not It's connected to the same pipes where the other fucking... Well, I thought that there'd be, I thought that there'd be like a setting to protect your ass. It's a B-day. I just didn't think, scalded my ass. Ah, like that's a, you know, when you when you burn yourself, you got to run it under cold and then that's just as painful, mm-hmm. but that serves it. So th- that was, um, Ruined my B-Day experience. (laughs) (laughs) Blonded up. So that ruined my experience there. So we're in the we're in the airport coming home on the last day, and I need a shit. And uh, similar situation, you know, where you're desperate, but not like the code. But every toilet is fucking minging. Like there's not many cubicles. The ones that are open, they're all minging. I look in the disabled one, and it's like glorious. I'm like, I'm fucking going in the disabled me, and I sit down, and I'm having me shit, and I look down, and I notice there's like a fucking like a cup space. Like, you know, I've just dived in for a shit and I sit down, there's like a space there for going under. I'm like, what the fuck's that? And I look to the left of me. And the ping pong ball just came. <laughs> <You're> like, <"Whoa!" laughs> yeah, what now? Then we had like, there was a shower head lad to the left of me. Okay. And I'm like, I do the math. The shower head fits under and you spray your ass with the shower head. And I thought, Fucking when in Rome, lad. Well, in Milan, but I was like, when in fucking Milan, lad. I'm going to give this a go. And I put it in and not, again, not thinking of the logistics. And I just, it, it's a shower head. It just shot everywhere. It went all over my pants. I had like wet kecks. I'm like trying to dry me fucking kecks at that and dry before getting on the plane. And yeah, I had to come home in wet kecks. Nightmare. But yeah, but it's at the end of the story. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's the I end of it. I could have guessed story. Why are you trying it when you're in when you're wearing clothes or you don't understand the system? Well, I wasn't going to be bollico in the airport, lad. Who's going bollico in the airport toilet? Scolding myself in the hotel, shower head in the airport. Could have done with that the other way around. Yeah, I'm fucking too right. I'd have loved it. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. Anyway, enough about assholes. Should we do some features. No, I, you can fuck off. Actually, today, put that close that. Well, you fuck off for now because I've got enough a feature. about assholes. You said way to be one. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a feature today, lad. Oh, you've got features. I've got well, I've got ones from listeners. Are yours from listeners? No, I've got a Reddit post. Oh. But I think it's a good. I think it's a good one. I do think it's a good one. So famous last words. I, know, I can't yeah. wait to see you read this after all the stick you've given me as of late. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I, that's the thing I'm most worried about. I, I can't concentrate the way you can. <laughs> Uh, while Liam's loading that up, if uh, if you want to send something in, please do. We've been getting quite a few listener submissions, and they've been great, and we really appreciate it. If you've got questions, uh, what else do we have? We have the off your chest bit. If you've got anything you want to get off your chest, embarrassing have, moments, any, embarrassing moments, worst moment of your life, make it up. We don't give a fuck. We've done that with a lot of features ourselves. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Cut that. <laughs> <laughs> But just make it up, do whatever. Spread negativity pod at gmail.com. We'd really appreciate it. Appreciate pre- 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 it. Um, we would. Why would I? Why can't, why can't <laughs> I speak? And my speaking's as good as my reading. But yeah, send something <laughs> in. It would be ideal. We'd be very happy if you could do that. Spread negativity pod at gmail.com. What you got, Liam? I have got a today I fucked up. And you, in, if you put it in the email, you can decide who reads it also. No, no, don't do that because I like the way Aaron reads. He's very clear and concise. Right, okay, the pressure's on. Today I fucked up. Oh, Siri. <laughs> <laughs> Today I fucked up. I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. <laughs> Today I fucked up by offering to read a fucking Reddit okay. post. How long is it, first of all, so it's I can strap in? Not that long. Okay. Just a, uh, yeah, <laughs> strap in, lad. Okay. So today I fucked up by dressing as my girlfriend's favourite cartoon character in the bedroom. So my girlfriend... So, so me, 26, I fucked it up straight away. <laughs> so I'm a 26 male. I'm like, oh, fucking, why is it? It doesn't make sense. It goes so my, and then brackets, 26 M. Yeah, yeah. my 26. Yeah. Doesn't matter. So I my boyfriend, 26 ages. male. Or my girlfriend, 26 male. So my girlfriend, girlfriend has been what? <laughs> I'm just- Shout out Sam Smith. I don't give a shit about the ages. Yeah. <laughs> Who I actually support. Yeah, me too. It's been loads of fun watching <laughs> everyone get pissed off at him. Really has. So my girlfriend. Distracting, isn't it, Liam? 
I'm going to do this. <laughs> so my girlfriend has been watching this popular show for about a while, and she absolutely about loves... a while? That's, this is the wording of the post, lad. For about a while. <laughs> Change it then. <laughs> I'm being true to the art. Okay. For a little the, while. For, for, for a, a little while. For a while. So my girlfriend has been watching this popular show for a while, and she absolutely loves one of the characters from the show. She loves him so much to the point where she quotes him randomly or searches up compilations such as the top five most savage moments of X character. Anyways, I thought it would be a good idea to spice things up in the bedroom a little, as lately we've been too busy with work to have fun as we used to before. Therefore, I thought it would be a good idea to cosplay as such character. I mean, she really enjoys him a lot, so it would definitely make sense for him to bring some excitement to the bedroom. Besides, we all have that little fictional crush we wanna or wanted to smash at some point, so why not? I search up for costumes online, though thankfully his fit is relatively simple and I was careful enough to make sure the costume would arrive while she wasn't at home. My plan worked out perfectly till then. My girlfriend was at work, my package was at home, I just had to set up the mood, so I decided to send her a message saying, I have a surprise for you, be ready for the best night of your life, or something along those lines. Followed by obvious suggestive emojis, eggplant splash. <laughs> From her reply, I could tell she was down for it too. <laughs> so night time comes, I was already waiting in our room, candles lit in different spots of the house leading to our bedroom. I heard the keys opening the door and I just knew the show was about to start. I felt so excited and I couldn't wait for her to meet her surprise upstairs. But when she reached the bedroom, shit just started to go down. She opened the door and her face instantly turned into a horrified one. She started yelling at me and saying that I was a pervert and I couldn't be serious about what I was doing. And it was the most disgusting joke she's ever seen. I tried telling her it wasn't a big deal and that I could just take it off, but she ended up leaving the house and saying she was going to her friends. Now I'm just laying in my bed. She won't answer my messages or calls, and I'm honestly a bit embarrassed to tell anyone, so I'm just typing it here. The character in question was Stewie Griffin from Family Guy. <laughs> <laughs> was it really that bad? <laughs> it could have been way worse. Yeah. Could I mean, have been so I don't much worse. know, you know, he's a baby. Right. Because I was trying to figure out. But he could have been be a black baby. <laughs> <laughs> it should have been way worse. I mean, <laughs> what what like what cartoon would be acceptable in that situation? Because there's definitely fuckable cartoons, don't deny it, lad. Lola Bunny from Space Jam. Banging. Yeah, but sometimes they're always like have you ever like Googled the age of that cartoon character? No. That changes everything that But I was like I all was... that Cinderella shit, she's like fifteen. Yeah, but how old were you when you watched Cinderella? Right, but you're on about fucking her. You weren't when you were there. <laughs> you got you any features, lad? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of massive nonces, uh, Danielle Lewis says... <laughs> she's not the nonce. Uh, she might be. She might be. Well, remains to be seen. <laughs> Who knows? Um... <laughs> Why would he dress as... I know. And I was trying to... Th like, I'm thinking, what's it going to be? Like, Clifford the Big Red Dog. I was thinking animals more than anything. Yeah. Not a fucking baby. Yeah. He is savage, though. What would you dress as? You what would I little... dress as? Yeah. A cartoon character? No, just anything. You do a little role play in the bedroom. 100% fireman. I'm talking little panties. I'd get braces. Do hat. they wear them, do they? Yeah. Or are you getting fucked by one? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they wear them. Like under, I've seen Fireman strippers. I've watched Magic Mike. I watched Magic Mike, and then Netflix thought I was gay and kept suggestion, suggesting all of these like, you know, oranges aren't the only fruit and stuff like that. I don't think they just thought you were gay. Mate, I the algorithm you... did. I kept getting suggested like um, they had a section like gay, lesbian, and bi at the time. It was a Probably while back. It's because of all the fucking cookies and the cashy and stuff. Yeah. In it. At the same time, you bought panties on Amazon. <laughs> you were like, this guy's fruity. Well, I did watch Magic Mike one and two. One was better. I've actually watched him and I can't get over the colour grade, which is a very niche <laughs> thing someone, to say. Someone video edits. But like, it's fucking awful. Everything's yellow. Really? Yeah. Everything's just completely yellow. I wasn't looking with that much detail. <laughs> I just like Shannon Tatum. Huh? Nothing. Continue. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think now, what would, you, what would I dress up as? I, I think it's tough, isn't it? Because the guy's like, not, you can't take him serious. If I dressed up yeah. as a fireman. 
the thought of it alone. Right. The way you looked at me so then. So ridiculous. It, it is hard. Little belly it. out in that. Women have so many choices, like lingerie and whatever. Because women are beautiful, mate. I know. Women are beautiful. Yeah. They don't have to try. Even ugly women are still beautiful. They are. Yeah. Like, but a man, like the best looking man in the world, still can't walk with a flaccid penis and not expect his missus to laugh. Like, it's not. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, women, like, it, when they're naked, I had this fucking ages ago, right? When I went to Berlin, because we went to a naked spa. Have I told you this story yeah, before? Yeah, Have I told, told it on the, pod? on the pod? Yeah. yeah. But this is my point. Women are beautiful. Yeah. She's like, she was all stood there, Caves. stunning. Everything's covered away. It's in the right places and stuff. And then I'm just fucking Gonzo's nose, just walking around. <laughs> just fucking, I dress as him. I'd, I'd be Gonzo's nailing. thumb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Becca would wish you were Gonzo. As in gone. So far away. Gonzo. <laughs> Away, I don't know. Hey, um, I, I want to wear something sexy now. Hey, se- if you want me to wear something sexy for the part, <laughs> yeah, got you the cracks. Send it in. Oh yeah, fucking. That's what we wear in the bedroom. Fucking baby. Lara Croc over here with the camo on. Oh fucking hell! <laughs> fucking womb raider, lad. Huh? Nothing. <laughs> <We're made> <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> hey guys, love listening to you both. On <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> I would dress up as a flamboyant man and I would <laughs> fucking smash it. <laughs> Louis Spence. Yeah. <laughs> I have to catch me first. I'm like a whippet. Um, <laughs> I love him. What happened to him? Louis Spence, he was boss. Pineapple Dance Studios. Yeah. Yeah. Wish I could dance. Be sick being a dancer, wouldn't it, lad? Yeah. Being able to boss moves like that. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> someone's watched Magic Mike. <laughs> um, Is it sexy though? The way they up. fucking. <laughs> Daniel Lewis says, "Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I'm not Daniel. <laughs> Could dress up as her. No comment." Put some like old joggers on to the summit. I'll buy him and be like, hey, this is... <laughs> right, let's crack on. We have been recording for too long. Um, <laughs> hey, guys, love listening to you both. Honestly, it makes me belly laugh so much. Oh, You lovely. GM. Oh, that's, that's so lovely. <laughs> I wrote that bit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and Liam would look well good as Magic Mike. <laughs> uh, anyway. Let's crack on. Uh, I have a funny story from a little while back. I was dating my first boyfriend. I was 16 and he was older than me. I went away with him and his whole family abroad. He then tells me that he has told all his family that I am 18. Oh, I didn't get out. I didn't think much of it and it never crossed our minds again until we later went away again for my 18th birthday. I come downstairs to a surprise cake and his whole family had decorated the whole house in 21 balloons and arched the whole lot. <laughs> I came running down very drunk with a big 18 balloon that I'd got myself screaming, get me a fucking legal shot. And all his family just stared at me. I was completely mortified. <laughs> so basically what happens there is Danielle dated a legit pedo yeah. who groomed her. No, 16's of age. Not that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why did I defend that point? No, he's a pedo. So <laughs> I just... I, I... Cut that. Yeah. So, so basically, it was you, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> I'm not saying it's okay, but I'm saying it's legal. So basically, Danielle's dated a legit pedo. Yeah. Who's groomed her? Yeah, but not only is he a legit pedo, he's an insecure pedo <laughs> that doesn't want his family to know that he's yeah, a pedo, so he knows course, it's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> he's an MS pedo. But, um, <laughs> That's no, a not like MS. But, it's too old in there. <laughs> how long did he plan on like? Well, I asked Danielle. She sent this on Instagram, and I asked how old he was, and she said he was twenty-two. Now I've got a little bit of stand-up about this because I did a gig in Oldham when I first moved there. And there was a couple on the front row. And the girl was 19. Okay. And the guy was like 24. And they'd been together for five years. Now. Oh, lad. The best gig I've ever had, to be honest. Uh, well, that's <laughs> grim, like, though, Because no it? matter how much I bomb, I'm still not the biggest cunt in the room, right? So it's like, it was great. At least they're together, but it makes me feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, you don't say. So she's, he's, yeah. Go on. I mean... <laughs> There's so many red flags, isn't there? It's tough, isn't it? Because she's... <laughs> when you're 16, you're just happy yeah. to have a partner. Yeah. You're like, oh. She's probably buzzing that he's older as well. And he's got a Vauxhall course. And he hits me up from school. Because <laughs> he's been driving for fucking five but years. But then she goes on holiday with him. She's like, oh, I'm going on holiday with my boyfriend. It's amazing. And then in the car, or whatever, he's just gone, oh, by the way, they think you're 18. And she's gone, all right, okay. And just carried on. Yeah. But... To, to then... 
for, but for it to go on that lot, she's not thought. Yeah, he's not thought about, about the next. Do you reckon he thought he was just gonna like fucking? We just have to get through this. You're not gonna last that long. We'll write you off, and then we'll see where we're at in a couple of years' time. Do you know what I mean? He did. He did not. He was not looking far forward. Are you still with him? Because you shouldn't be. Because he was well, not. He was not planning a future with you. If he's as much of a pedo as we think we are, we, if, we think we are <laughs> if he's as Freudian slip, Freudian <laughs> slip. Uh, if he's as much as a pedo as we think he is, yeah, he probably wouldn't want to be with us too long anyway. Yeah, because she's no longer sexy to him. <laughs> <We'd> probably <laughs> knocked him sexy in them twenty-one balloons. <laughs> 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 fucking old cunts. <laughs> <laughs> He probably brought the eighteen-year-old one himself just to keep the fire alive. <laughs> Fucking grim. Yeah, too far. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I don't really know what to do with it because I wish it had more of an ending where, like, he like. Do we? Are they still together? I don't think so. Surely not. Because I hope I've not just slacked off your husband. Because <laughs> you're a listener of the show. <laughs> and I'm sure hey, if you've got kids with him, I'd fucking keep him away. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Fucking dressed as Stewie Griffin out here. I bet he'd love that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Oh, Surely they're not still together. Because you can't send this into a podcast. Yeah. So my husband was no, a nonce some people do. Married. She'll cue it up and go, listen, lad. Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, listen to them, have you off there? God, don't get me knocked out by a nonce. So. <laughs> that could be the name of your next show, lad. Knocked out by a nonce. Not podcast, I mean, like, tour show, no. All right, thank you. I thought well, this was like a yes and situation. <laughs> <laughs> Simprov, this lad. Oh, yes and. <laughs> hey, you'd be really easy to nonce with that attitude. <laughs> well, You're 16, right? Yes, and wait, how old? <laughs> I did a gig in a room full of students last night. Yeah. So how old are students at the youngest, would you say, at uni? I can't be asked doing the maths. Uh, We're talking like, like 18. 18. Yeah. Mate, they look... I'm, th- what, was I'm it 13. Fallerfield? Yeah. Oh, mate, I gigged there. I gigged it was there like sound a week to be ago, fair. Two weeks ago. Oh, it, mate, not when I did it. No. Fuck me. I just feel I've never, old I was as fuck. so old. Mate, I'm 26. Which, by the way, you didn't pick up on this. On Finn's episode, Finn asked me how old I was, and I said 25. I wasn't. Yeah. Did you do I'm that not. deliberately, or did you no. just not pick up on that? I didn't realize until I edited it. I'm fucking not. <laughs> you lied. Don't believe a word we say. I don't know how old I am. Um, <laughs> But yeah, point B, I'm like 26, and yeah. I was the oldest guy in that room. I'd have to stand in a crash usually, for that. <laughs> and I'm in this fucking gate. It was awful. They just stared at me. It gets to you, don't it? They like, just it stared got, at me. I, 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 it, scare, it scares me. I just didn't feel myself. I was and, like, oh. Mate, we probably have a few students that listen to this. And if, if you are a student, and you are below 21 years old, then we don't mean you. <laughs> yeah. You are the exception to the rule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are a lot like Barcelona. Um, <laughs> in that you're probably going to cancel on me. Um, <laughs> it's terrible. But I felt so fucking old. That's what got. That's why it I bring horrible. it up. Because I it's horrible. I had a good it's gig. Horrible. I mean, I, I, until I made like a, I did a dodgy new bit, and then I made an out. In fact, the dodgy new bit was trying to tell I'm not a little boy anymore from the podcast. Funnily enough, uh, a room full of kids don't want you to tell them how you were kind of announced. Uh, it makes Why them uncomfortable. No, that's great. Yeah, I know. It was. It, hey, Danielle Lewis is your crowd. Doing it on stage <laughs> is different though than just you know what I mean. I'm still trying to figure out the bit, whatever. But then I did a bit that was going so well, and then I forgot that the punchline is like an out of date reference, and it just made me feel so old. You don't know who this person is. I am so fucking old. Yeah. It upset me so much. Was and it I, the queen? Did all right. <laughs> yeah, who's that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah really no just, sausage fingers. It was fingers. horrible, man. Like I, I was doing new stuff as well, and I've been, I've been hitting with it a bit. To be fair, I've been dead pleased with the way it's going. I'm actually, like I say, I'm doing. Uh, you probably have heard on the start of the episodes. I'm doing work in progress shows up and down the country. I say that I've only got three books in at the minute, but it's going to be more to come. Really looking forward to them. Tickets are selling pretty well. They're going all right, but not as well as they could do. Liam's going to join me for some of them. It's going to be loads of fun. Come down. I'd really yeah, appreciate yeah. it. I feel like I've just quoted the advert at the start. But all the links are in my, in my uh, Instagram bio and in the description. Follow them. Yeah, click so. them. Like, comment, subscribe. Ding the bell. Boom. Admin done. Continue. The youth of today. Liam's not going to join me on anything. <laughs> uh, you know, that might be why they're not selling that well. Because Liam's going to be there. He won't be there. I've just sacked him. He's not opening. It's not happening. They're selling great. I'll ask Callum Oakley. We like Callum. Diversity, tick box. <laughs> Callum. Um. <laughs> <laughs>
But go on, you were saying. <laughs> it, 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 I think it is just the um, age thing. What was I saying? You, you were talking yeah, about I've doing new doing stuff. Yeah, I've been doing loads of new stuff. And it's been hitting. Mm-hmm. So I, was, I went into it confident. I was pleased with it. I've got a new bit about how I want to kill myself. It's going really well. <laughs> it's going good. <laughs> That gig made me want to kill myself for legit reasons. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like for, for realsies. And I opened with it. Probably shouldn't have opened with the suicidal bit. <laughs> <laughs> really killed the gig, ironically. Um, but I was sat there and I was, well, I wasn't sat there. I was just stood there and I was like, this isn't, they're not, this, I've already done this. This works. Like, what, what's fucking happening? Ah, do me, I didn't. So I thought, I'll just do, I'll just do a, a bit that I usually do. Do some stuff that works all the time in every room. I'll try that. See if it's the bit that's the problem or see if it's the room. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's never really the room, but sometimes they're just not there. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Just, things just aren't hitting. So I thought I'll do my best, some of my best stuff. I did the next five minutes. The night before in Leicester, I did a trial spot for a major club and I got progressed by that club yeah. with that same stuff. And 40 students in Fallowfield went, no. Nah, old I cunts. Don't like it. <laughs> don't like yeah. it. You're 18 in your head. You feel young. Do you know what I mean? And then you just start realising that you're a da. And this, you... F- Wash your mouth out. Who bought who Crocs? You're a da? I hope I haven't scuffed the table with yeah. Crocs <laughs> again. Da behaviour. Yeah, yeah, it was an expensive table. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, the whole reason I brought up students is how could you be like, how can you form a connection with a 16-year-old? <laughs> Didn't need to take it back, did I? No, not even a little bit. <laughs> um, if if Danielle, you are still with your boyfriend, the same guy, um, spadnegativitypod at gmail.com, let us know how to make a connection with a 16-year-old. <laughs> That's what you said. Uh, no, it's not what I meant. No, it's not what I meant. I wasn't asking how with a question mark. I was saying, like, <laughs> don't make me... Di- I'm, I am not a nonce. And statement's over. Why are you making me look guilty, lad? You're making me feel guilty? Stop doing that thing where you're like, the less you say, the more I say, because it's fucking working. I have a nice message to tell you to end this podcast. Okay. What is it? My friend, Tom Hunt, who you mentioned before. Oh, you're giving me shoe size. Man. Yeah. We were on a, where was his girlfriend? Give me your shoe size. <laughs> Give you my All it proved size. was that me and Tom like you better than Beck does. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so Tom, it was his girlfriend's thirtieth, and he, um, his friend from work, is there, and he's like, "Oh, you're Liam, aren't you?" I just wanted to say, "Oh, you're and, Liam, uh, yeah, the Liam." He goes, "I just wanted to <laughs> say, like, one. I've been listening to your podcast, Spread Negativity, and I love it. Like, I listen to it every single day, and genuinely, it's like changed my life. And I didn't know how to react. I'm just going." Oh, thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Yeah, like I, I and he just then he goes, oh, I, I didn't, I've never I even heard of it. Tom told me to say that. <laughs> just made me feel like a right fucking bell end. Like. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's Tom's own back for me trying to convince him that he killed me, man. Yeah, <laughs> it made me feel like fucking <laughs> dog shit. He'd never hey, if podcast. you want to win the war, you need to kill his nan. <laughs> Coming for, I think. No, I think cancer beat me too. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> End pot! <laughs> End pot! <laughs>